Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this episode, we're going to learn how to create a random deck of 40 cards to play with in our game. Let's get started. So in previous videos, we created a card. And if we hit play, we can have information placed on our card right here. And that we can change that if we go over to card right here. And we can change this ID number and we can make it whatever card we want or the information that we placed in our card in our card database script here that will go into that card. But we only have one card right now. So, or we can only have one card at a time right now, really. What we wanna do is create a deck of cards for us to play with. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're going to turn that off. I'm gonna right click. I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call it player deck. And likewise, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to right click, go up to create C sharp script. And I'm also going to create a C sharp script called player deck. So now I'm going to open up this script. And in this script, I'm going to start off by creating a list. I'm going to create a public list and I'm going to call this card and this should look a little familiar to you because we did this in our card database script I'm going to call it deck and it's going to equal a new list brackets card and at the end we're going to have some parentheses and a semicolon and after that I'm going to create a public int and I'm going to call that X all right, so this is the same as what we did over here, pretty much, only in this case we called it card list because that's the information we wanted. But now we want to call this one deck, and it's another list that we're deriving from our card script here, our card class. So in our start menu, I'm sorry, our start function, we're going to... declare a value to our variable, and then we're going to say for int i equals zero, and this is called an increment, so I'll explain this in a moment. I'm just gonna type it all out first. It'll just be easier once I type it out to explain everything. For i equals less than 40, semicolon, i plus plus, two plus signs, and we're going to go ahead and get some brackets out. And inside this x is going to equal to random.range. And then 1, 4, semicolon. And then after that, it's deck brackets i equals card database dot card list brackets x and at the end a semicolon so i'm going to go ahead and hit save so what will happen here is first i needed to increment things so incrementing is basically going um running your code in order through a series of numbers so or rather i is equal to zero i starts at zero it's going to go zero one two three four five it's going to do that till i is less than 40 which is 39 in this case so i starts at zero goes to 39 that's 40 so because i wanted 40 cards this could be any number whatever amount of cards you want this to be you can make it 50 cards uh, 60 cards whatever i just randomly chose 40 and i plus plus is the increment it's it's going one at a time so when this code is run, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to assign this integer x. It's going to give it a random number, a random range. So the random range goes from 1 to 4, because if we look in our card database, not including this 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are our four types of cards we have written here. So it's going to choose 1 through 4, and then it's going to start making our deck. It's going to start with i. And then the first i is zero and then it's going to populate this or or put a variable here that's one of these random numbers let's say it's two so it's going to randomly pick two and then two here is elf and all the information for elf 
and then it's going to create a card for it. Then I goes to the next number, goes to one. So that's the second card. Then it's going to randomly choose another number, let's say one. Then it's going to put that right here and it's going to go over to the card database. It's going to find the number one here for the identity and that's human and all the information that comes with human. So now let's go back into Unity and see how this all came together. Let's let our script compile. We don't have any errors. That's a good thing. We're going to go over to our player deck here. We're going to grab our player deck script. We're going to put it inside. And now we have X and I did make it a public variable. Well, actually, yes, I wanted it there so you could see it as uh, the number, the random range number, which will be at the bottom. But here is our deck. And now it's asking how many things we want in our deck and we wanted 40 so that's what we're going to put there and when i hit return it automatically created all these cards right here now if you want a different size deck you have to remember you have to change it over here in the script you would have to change that 40 right there because if you tried to put a lesser number let's say i wanted a deck at 10 it's going to it might give me an error when i hit play here so yes, it does, because it's it's looking for 40 items, but it can only fill in uh, 10 of them. So I'm going to go back to 40 and hit return. I'm going to hit play, and you probably saw it already that it populated when I just did it. So yeah, it just picks out random numbers, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, and it goes right down the line, all the way to 39 cards. This last one where the X is, that's the last one it did. It's going to match 39 when I uh, spin on it. It's going to say 1. So that's how we're going to create our deck. And right now, this is actually only information uh, right now. We haven't quite placed an entire deck of cards here. There's still only one card right here, and it's probably if I put it on it, it's still this dwarf card. So this isn't quite connected to everything else yet. It's just a, it's just the object that we activated here. This this our actual physical card object isn't created, isn't connected to this yet. That's going to be another video where we're going to actually create a stack of cards right here in the uh, in our game. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. All links are in the description below. See you next time.